JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming to you live on the show floor from Telecom Exchange in the in the Big Apple, New York City. And I am here with my friend, my tall friend, Mr. Mike Jonas. Mike is the CEO of Light. I'm sorry, Mike, you're not the CEO, but one day. No, no, <laughs> I, no, no, no. I, I apologize. Mike Jonas is the President of Global Sales and Marketing for Light River Technologies. Mike, welcome as always to JSA TV. What a great week to be in New York together. Outstanding, yes, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, for our viewers that don't know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Light River Technologies? You bet, Light River is really the largest pure play optical integrator in the market today. Mm -hmm. We work with fiber, we work with lighting fiber, we work with moving tons of bytes around the network. So anything that's uh, revolving around DWDM, packet optical, packet transport, and more recently, software automation of those networks mm -hmm. is where we focus all of our time. Very good. So let's talk about a phrase you coined, or uh, uh, the factory-built network. Why don't you tell our viewers what the factory-built network is? Well, the factory-built network was really an answer to a problem the customers brought to us. Adopting a lot of new technology, adopting a lot of new capacity, adopting a lot of new processes brings risk. So how can we help them as an integrator, somebody specializing in the space, address some of those problems, enable more rapid service delivery and more empowerment for their own team? And so we put our heads together and came up with the factory built network model where we will build the entire network um, in advance in our network factory, run through all the tests, run through all the burn in, run through all the infant mortality, provision and commission the network then bring the team in from our customers mm -hmm. and have them learn how their exact network has got to run. Not going to a training session, learning for a week 50 things they don't need and spending an hour on the thing they do. Mm -hmm. We teach them just what their network is going to do to solve the problems their customers need. And it's been massively successful um, and it's helped a lot of customers adopt newer technology much more quickly. Very good. Let's talk about partnerships. Um, it seems like I'm hearing partnership, partnership, partnership with, uh, with Light River a lot lately. Can you talk to our viewers a little bit about that? Well, you bet. Really, coming right out of the factory built network model, it's getting very difficult for operators, for carriers, for utilities, and for even cloud players to keep up with everything they need to keep up with, to contract with every vendor they need to contract with, to understand every way to solve a problem. They've got their own problems. They've got customers, they've got requirements, they've got full-time jobs. So increasingly, they are understanding that working with someone who is expert on a part of their problem set is really advantageous. They can shave cost, they can shave time, and they can increase their own customer satisfaction. Okay, so we're talking about news, lots of partnerships, the factory-built network, but uh, what do things look like, say, a year from now at Light River? Yeah, we're very, very bullish a year from now. Um, <laughs> of course, we, we are. Be. We are not afraid of any degradation in capacity growth. We are not afraid of any new um, adoption of technology. So we are uh, not only expanding here in the U.S. And you mentioned we've had a very, very active first half of the yes. year, a number of new partnerships and announcements. But we're taking the show on the road. So uh, in support of a couple of our global clients, we're also lighting up some European operations. So that'll be something we start working on. Uh, we've expanded our factory in our lab to include SDN and NFE products. So we've got half a dozen of those software um, sets, those kits that are developing from every major manufacturer in the lab, and we're developing a factory process for that as well, so that not only can we help get the hardware set the way it should be, but we can also empower our customers on the software automation they're gonna need, maybe within 12 months, but certainly within 24. Fantastic, that doesn't sound like there's any slowing down over there at Light River. Sleep will be something we, we table for the next year. <laughs> Outstanding. Mike, thank you so much for joining us on JSA TV today. Always a pleasure. Good to see you, Dean. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. We'll see you soon.